G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Win Acme client, so the Acme V2 client for Windows, to automatically install and update SSL certificates using Let's Encrypt. So if you don't know what Let's Encrypt is, Let's Encrypt is a free, open source, non-profit SSL certificate authority. So basically what they do is they allow you to download and publish 90 day certificates and just automatically renew them. So it works pretty well, keeps things encrypted using SSL, so HTTPS. So at the moment, basically what I've got here is I've got an iOS server and at the moment it's just running on port 80. You can see here my local host is running on port 80. I've got uh, test.heresjaken.com uh, routed to this server. So basically test.heresjaken.com will go to this server. At the moment it won't because I haven't configured it, but from external to this server it will go to this server. Um, I've got the ports forwarded, so for this to work you will need port 80 and port 443 forwarded through to your server. So what we can do here, first thing we need to do is we need to add a binding for port 443, which is what SSL, uh, which is what HTTPS runs on. So if we go to bindings, what I'll do here is we'll go HTTPS, we'll just grab the default certificate out of here, and we'll go test.heresjaken.com. And you can see here, it's running on port 443. It's allocated to my default website. So if I now refresh this, you can see at the moment your connection is not private and I can proceed there and I can see at the moment I've got an SSL certificate that is invalid. So you can see here it's invalid, it's not working for test.heresjaken.com. So what you want to do to run the Win Acme is you just want to download it so you just go to this download page, which the links will be in the description, and basically it downloads this WinAcme client here. Now, a best practice is to move it out of your downloads folder. So if we actually extract this, we'll extract the software. And you can see here it's in my downloads folder. Now it's best practice to move this out of your downloads folder because it is going to make a scheduled task to automatically renew the SSL certificate and it will automatically put that to wherever you run it from. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new folder here called Acme, we'll call it win-acme and I will paste this folder in there. So installing it's quite simple. You just run the application and then it gives you the options. So if you want to create a certificate using the default settings, we just hit N, uh, site identifiers, and if you click, you could type in one here if you had multiple sites, you can just hit enter to choose all, which we're just going to choose all. Um, and then you can pick your bindings based on the search pattern, but basically we're just going to do all of them. And you can see here it's found, test.heresjaken.com, which is what we actually set in iOS here on the binding. So that figures it out because we've added the binding here and put in the host name. If you didn't put in the host name, it wouldn't figure that out. So make sure you put in the host name for what you're going to be running your website on. Uh, and then you continue, which we say yes. And do you agree with the terms? Yes. Uh, enter notification emails. I'm just going to use jake at here'sjaken.com. So that's the email that's going to send any notifications if there's problems with it. What it's going to do is it's going to validate using HTTP, which is running on this server. So because we have it running on the same server, we can actually just have it automatically verify. So what should happen now is if I cancel out of here and we go back into the bindings, this should have just set it up for us. We go edit, you can see here, my certificate has changed. 
So if I renew this web page, bang, there we go. So you can see here my certificate is valid. It's issued to test.hisjaken.com. Um, and for the auto renew, it does automatically create a scheduled task, which we can find in the task scheduler that will run at 9 a.m. every day. What this task does is it runs this command here. So if you want, you can change it or you can make it manually run however you want to run it. But that's basically this. This task will run every day. What it will do is it will check. It will check to see if the certificate needs renewing. And then if it does, it will renew. So I'll show you what it actually does because we can actually run this in command prompt. And you will see. So if I copy this here and open a command prompt, we'll paste that in there and then paste these arguments afterwards. So this is just manually running that scheduled task. Uh, so it's saying that it's already running. So it won't run while it is running. So if I do Q for quit, we'll hit enter and let's run that command again. You can see here it goes. The scheduled task looks healthy. The renewal for the site is due after there. So when it is due, it will automatically renew. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. This is a pretty good solution. It seems to work pretty well. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you next time.